So today in this video, we shall learn to find GCF of HCF of 27 and 36. And here we shall find out GCF of HCF by two methods. First one by prime factorization method and second one by division method. So let's find out GCF of HCF of 27 and 36 by prime factorization method. So while finding out GCF of HCF by prime factorization method, first of all you have to find out the prime factors of given numbers. So we have numbers of 27 and 36. So let's find out the prime factors of 27. So it is 3 times 9 means 27, like as 3 times 3 means 9 and 3 times 1 means 3. So as you look here, we have find out the prime factors of 27. So in the same way, we shall find out the prime factors of 36. So it is 2 times 18 means 36, like as 2 times 9 means 18 and 3 times 3 means 9 and at last it is 3 times 1 means 3. So as you look here, we have find out the prime factors of 27 and 36. So from these prime factors, we can write 27 is equal to, from here it is 3 times 3 times 3. In the same way, we can write 36 is equal to, from here it is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So, we have taken out the prime factors of 27 and 36. So, now we find out common factors in these prime factors. So, here is 3 and here is also 3. So, 3 is the common factor. Like as here is 3 and here is also 3. So, 3 is also a common factor. So, here is 3 and here is 2 which is a non-common factor. And as you know, we are finding out here GCF of HCF. So, GCF of HCF is the product of only common factors. So, you have common factors are 3 and 3. So, now we have to find out the product of these common factors. So, it is 3 times 3 means it is 9. So, 9 is the product of these common factors. Therefore, 9 is the GCF of HCF of 27 and 36. So, in this way, we can find out GCF of HCF by prime factorization method. So, now our second method is by division method. So, let's find out GCF of HCF of 27 and 36 by division method. So, while finding out GCF of HCF by division method, we have to divide the greater number which is 36 with the lesser number which is 27. So, 27 times 1 means it is 27. And 36 minus 27 means 9. So, here 9 is remainder means you have to again divide the divisor 27 with 9. So, 9 divides 27 as 9 times 3 means 27. So, it is 0. So, at last we have here no remainder. So, as you look here, at last we have got no remainder and we get it from the divisor 9. So, while finding out GCF or HCF by division method, first of all we have to divide the greater number with the lesser number and while dividing we get here 9 as remainder. And when we get 9 remainder means we have to again divide the divisor with remainder. And we have to keep dividing until there is no remainder at last. So 9 divides 27 then we get no remainder. So 9 took no remainder here. So it becomes the GCF of HCF. So the divisor containing no remainder becomes the GCF of HCF. Therefore we can write GCF of HCF is equal to 9. So in this way we can find out GCF of HCF by division method. So this much for today and if you have any question from math then just comment your question in a comment below and we shall provide a video solution of your question. So thank you.